Uh, well, Amit, uh, today the Congress has started their campaign from North and South Goa. How you see? See, the campaign has started with a bang. If you, uh, see, in the morning, uh, uh, we started for North Goa from the northern tip of Goa. At, at Patra Devi, which also signifies the freedom struggle. We have come down to South Goa. We finished with the campaigning uh, start of campaign for uh, the South Goa candidate, Mr. Viryato and Captain Viryato Fernandez from Loria Maidan, which also signifies freedom struggle. And uh, we have stated that this is a freedom struggle, uh, one more freedom struggle for uh, defeating uh, corrupt BJP government, for getting corrupt uh, Goa rid of corruption, getting employment to Goa. This is a this is a freedom struggle against unemployment, price rise, inflation, everything, and the divisive politics that that Goa is seeing for last uh, last more than a decade, where BJP has been in power. I mean, this hatred has come down to a level of. Uh, of fights in between castes in now instead of religion so and this is all fueled by bjp so i think we are uh, we are sure people of goa are smart people are uh, communally very sensitive we, we have li always lived in communal harmony and uh, ever since bjp has started uh, has has uh, has come to power to goa in goa there has been a rise in this communal tension and i think this is something that is disturbing to me as well as all the goan satellites i think there's going to be a lot of change and we are we hope and we pray and we are sure that both the candidates are going to win of uh, of the india alliance with thumping majority uh, well we have seen like when you uh, your campaign have started uh Aam Admi mla uh, when z was also ch uh, charged by police uh, the uh, election uh, thing for not to campaign See, what has happened is we have seen BJP doing such campaigns all over Goa and the election commission does not stop them. A simple corner speech by the uh, by uh, our MLA, Amarbi Party MLA, Captain Venzi Vegas, uh, you know, where there was no sound uh, which was used which would cause disturbance or something, show cause notice has been issued by the election commission which shows the fear that that BJP has and how they are using election commission to curtail the the campaigning process of uh, of uh, the uh, opposition leaders and I and I I'm, I'm sure they need to fear they obviously need to fear this because uh, the fear has come out from the fact that they are losing ground they are losing both the seats and they are sure of it because uh, reports of the department reports of the police department also say that they are losing grounds drastically specifically now in north goa where they were sure of winning the seat the 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 current status is they will actually have to fight to get uh, lose uh, not to lose badly uh, well we have seen one more issue going on in the temple of arvalam that uh, bojan samaj but sorry the bandari samaj has uh, 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 made an attack on them what do you want to say? See, this uh, temple issue is nothing but a political move by Bharatiya Janata Party to to uh, to polarize castes now. Earlier, they used to create such rifts between religions. Now they have entered temples. The entire episode was uh, was uh, in the in the presence of the police. There was a huge uh, uh, deployment of police force, CRPF, and other for police force at the temple. Yet, 25 people come with armed, uh, armed, uh, armed with dandas. They come and start abusing the people, devotees. They destroy the palki procession. They attack the ladies, the elderly women, and and uh, they are escorted inside the temple by the SP North oh. of Goa. And then he disappears from the scene. When we call him back, he says that, uh, you know, we will take action as per law. He says, you need to file a complaint. I said, when it's a cognizable offense, why do we need to file a complaint? The accused are right before you get them arrested. But no, he lets them go. He lets them be in the temple. And then he asks the police to disperse the, the devotees of the temple. Which shows how police machinery is also being used. Whom he was in touch, why was he making those calls, will have to be found out. If they are not, they, if they are sure that that, uh, that the chief minister of Goa is not involved in this, that the government is not involved with this, they, they, let him make his call details uh, in his uh, personal as well as, uh, as uh, the official call details record public to show that he never made the calls to chief minister or anybody else. And then let us see, let him, let them come out clean. That these calls were not made. This happened right in the constituency of of chief minister. That means there is failure of intelligence machinery. Then, when there was so much deployment of police, how 25 people armed with dandas with nails on it were allowed to enter a temple and disturb a palki utsav ritual? Uh, I, I mean, that's something I can't fathom. Well, this can be a turning point uh, in uh, now coming election. 
I think it is going to be a turning point because I for for decades together Bandari Samaj which constitutes nearly one third of population of Goa or more than one third of population of Goa has stood by BJP and today they have realized that now they are being used as a tissue paper and then being thrown out after the use is complete. So I think people of Goa are slowly realizing and Bandari Samaj particularly is slowly realizing that this use and throw policy of Bharatiya Janata Party they is not going to be tolerated. So it, it is going to affect uh, Bharatiya Janata Party. I come from the same community. I was there present in the temple when this issue happened. We questioned the SP and he says that I will take action as per law. What do you mean by action as per law? A cognizable action does not require uh, registration of FIR when your witnesses, the policemen were manhandled, they were beaten up, chairs were thrown on them, yet that section has not been added, where, where the policemen were attacked while performing their duty. So it shows how 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 particular issues are being used by Bharatiya Janata Party to create a rift and to polarize. Well, according to you, like uh, support of India Alliance and such activities are going on, you see both the seats are comfortably winning. I see both the seats to be comfortable, uh, both the India Alliance candidates uh, heading towards a comfortable victory, north as well as south. Thank you.